Last fall, I went for a hike. It was somewhere deep in the woods. Oddly enough, it was pretty much the same spot I talked about last time. Except a little further into the deep, dark, gnarly parts of the woods. The parts where trees stumble over each other trying to grow. And branches hang down. The place where paths become hard to follow. But they're still noticeable, so you don't really have to worry about getting lost. Early on in the hike, I kind of had a thought of, what if I saw some kind of a cryptid in this woods? Like a Bigfoot or a Sasquatch or a, a Mothman or something? I even found myself looking up to the sky a little bit longer than I usually would on the off chance I saw a passing UFO. And I thought, what would I do if I did encounter some kind of creature like that? Would I be scared, or would I try and run away, or would I embrace my new otherworldly friend with a nice hug? And then I started thinking about other things, and my mind drifted off, and I kept on hiking. After about an hour or two of walking, I finally decided maybe I should turn back. You know, I'd seen a decent amount of trees, saw some cool water, a bunch of cool plants. Then I turned back and started making my way towards the exit. Now when I go for hikes, I'm a firm believer that you shouldn't use your phone or be looking at any electronic devices. But I broke that rule and I just happened to look down at my phone and because I got a little message from, from work. I looked at that and then I stopped. Because as soon as I put my phone away and looked back up at the trail I was heading down, a big family of black bears was walking by. It was a mama bear followed by two baby bears. So I'm a pretty tall guy, so I don't think it's necessarily the size of the black bears that scared me, because they're not, relatively, they're not that big. But I think I was definitely scared of the fact that they were bears. Um, yeah. Thankfully, they were about 30 or 40 feet ahead of me, so pretty close, but far enough away that I don't think that they noticed me at first. Um, here's a demonstration. So basically, I was standing where you are, and this is where the bear was going. I'm the bear in this situation. It started this way and it was going this way. After they passed, I stood there frozen for a, probably a solid minute, not really sure what to do. On the off chance, out of, I don't know, fear or curiosity or something, I opened up Google on my phone and looked up what you're supposed to do when you encounter a black bear. And I saw that black bears are the ones that you're supposed to get like really big and yell and be loud around. And then brown bears are the ones that you play dead with. And then polar bears, I think you're supposed to count backwards from 10 and hope for the best. But having that knowledge, I, it also said that you shouldn't run. But I'm human, so I got a little spooked and I, I, I started to do a kind of weird jog down the trail. Now, when, when I say a weird jog, it's because I had my keys in my front right pocket and I didn't want them to jingle too much to scare the bear if it was following me. So I kind of had to run with a weird, weird gait. 
eventually I reach the main part of the trail and where it kind of opens up and there's more usually more people very out of breath and then I walk to my car it took me a while to realize that the bear and the family of bears rather wasn't even following me so so I guess my caution and fear wasn't really even warranted I don't know And that kind of brings me back to the thing that I thought about at the beginning of the hike, which was, uh, what would I do if I encountered some kind of otherworldly creature? Maybe I don't have to worry about them as much as I do have to worry about worldly creatures. <laughs>